G'day everyone, I'm Wayne and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to remove the grill from my Isuzu and replace it. So if uh, you've got to do that in your car, stick around and we'll see if we can work it out. So what we're doing here is just removing the grill. There's four of these little flared clips, quite easy to remove along the top. Just removing the screw at the center of the grill. That's the only screw in this one. Make sure if you get something out of this video, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, subscribe. One little screw. So there are the clips there. There's four of them along the top and the one screw in the middle. So the trickiest bit about this whole job is removing the grill after you've removed those clips on the top and the screw. There's six locating lugs that are actually clipped in around the bottom. They're solid bits of plastic. They're quite big and I would imagine they'd be very hard to break. I didn't know this at the time so I took it easy but uh, they did eventually come out quite easily and they certainly went back in well. All six of these clips are located in the bottom half of the grill so that's probably where you need to apply the pressure to. the radiator grill. Two more there, so there's six locating lugs here and then the four across the top. So refitting it, it's just a matter of lining those lugs up, putting them in position and gentle pressure pushing in and they clip in very easily. Just using a pair of pliers to uh, squeeze the uh, bottom half of these pins in. And they just spread a little bit too far and they won't go into the hole real well. But the pliers certainly did the job. Just closed them up a little bit, just enough for it to be able to push in. If you get anything at all out of this video, Done. make sure you hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, subscribe.